Hi, I'm Pastor Sarah, and I am so glad you've joined me today. Here, this is my new home today. I'm a new pastor here, a new associate pastor here at Linworth UMC, and I'm so excited to meet you. So this is what I've created as a home today, and when I invite people into my home, I want them to be comfortable. And one way to make people comfortable is to get to know one another. And a way to get to know one another is to just ask questions, questions like what comes easy or what is difficult. So to help you get to know me, I'll share with you that some things that come easy to me is music and singing. So I will bust into song anytime, anywhere. Like, what a friend we have in Jesus, right? And now some things that are difficult for me might be cooking or changing the oil or what is going on? Ananias, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm hiding. Hiding from who? Everyone. Everyone? That's not going to work. Stand up and come tell me what's going on. Everyone, this is my friend Ananias, and these are my new friends. Hi, people I don't know in my friend's house. Yeah, so tell us, why exactly are you hiding? It is Saul. He is here in Damascus to arrest anyone who loves Jesus, and I Love Jesus. Yeah, so I guess you haven't heard okay. about how Jesus appeared to Saul and how a bright light shone around Saul and Saul heard Jesus' voice and then how Saul fell on the ground and how he was blind and how his buddies led him here to Damascus. Yeah, I heard all of that. Well, if you heard all of that, then why are you hiding and why are you wearing this silly mustache? <gasps> Ooh, mm, mm. It's a disguise. And now you've blown my cover. Well, it wasn't working for you. Trust me. Well, God came to me in a vision this morning and told me that I should go to Straight Street, and when I got there, I should ask for a man from Tarsus named Saul. Okay. And then when I get there, I should place my hands on Saul and pray for him so Saul will be able to see again. Wow. So that's amazing. Why are you here with me instead of going and doing what God's asked you to do? Because when Saul is able to see, guess who he's going to see? Me. And Saul arrests Christians and he throws them in jail. And then he throws rocks at them and he puts them in chains and he, well, I'm not really sure what he does with this, but I don't want to find out. Why is God asking me to do such a hard thing? Well, maybe my new friends here can help us think about that and unpack that a little bit because God asks everyone to do hard things sometimes, but we've been talking about and they've been learning something I think you should know. That Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Okay, but this, this is a really hard thing. A super hard thing. I'm afraid and I'm not even sure that I can do it. Haven't you ever had something hard to do and you weren't sure that you could do it? Sure. I was just starting to tell my new friends that there are things I can't do. There's things that come easy and there's things that are challenging. And that I'm new here, this new church home, and that being a new pastor is a hard thing to do. My friends out there, I bet there's lots of things you felt have found challenging. Maybe take a moment and talk to someone around you about something that you have found that's hard to do. Maybe in this season you've been worried about starting a new school. Maybe you've been worried about whether you'll go back to school at all. Maybe you miss your friends, and that's a hard thing. There's lots of hard things in this challenging season. Take a moment and think about what hard things and share that with one another.
you've had a chance to talk with your family or friends about things that have been hard and you've reminded one another that when there's hard things in our lives, Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. Now, all that's left to go and do is what you need to do. Would you feel better if I prayed for you? Yeah, I think that would help. Prayer is just talking to God. So I can talk to God and you can talk to God and we can ask God to give us the courage, to give Ananias the courage to go and do what God has asked Ananias to do. Let's pray. Gracious God, you are the God of all things. Things that come easy, things that are challenging. And when things are challenging, when we have hard things in our lives to do, you help us. Will you help Ananias do what you have asked Ananias to do? Give them courage, give them power, give them peace so that they can do what you've called them to do. Lord God, help us do hard things and trust in your love. In the name of Jesus we pray, amen. Oh, thanks. I think I can do it. Oh, I don't really need this, do I? Because... Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. Thanks.